Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Last week, I'm sure you remember, the national spokesperson of the current ruling party in India called the BJP, Napur Sharma, insulted the Prophet peace be upon him on national television. Naturally, I did a response and there was outrage from the people. However, very recently, another BJP member has insulted the Prophet peace be upon him and this is the needle that has broken the camel's back. The Arab world, the Arab Muslim nations are up in arms. Qatar, Kuwait and even Iran has summoned the Indian ambassador and made their concern very public indeed. That's the gen, yeah. <laughs> In fact, if you look at Arab Twitter, we're seeing Boycott India trending. Now those of you that have been following international news and all my videos would know that the extreme Hindus or the Hindutva have been persecuted minorities for quite some time. They've been bulldozing houses, lynching minorities, most specifically Muslims, open public calls to genocide and the like, such that even the United States had to say a few words, the US Secretary Blinken or whatever his name is. But India was becoming belligerent <laughs> and now with the boycott and the vocal opposition by the Arab nations, India has retracted with its tail between its legs. How you're asking? Well I'll tell you. Number one, the BJP has released an official statement. Number two, it has fired those two officials. And number three, Napur Sharma has been forced compelled to apologize. Now naturally these apologies are very flaffy and you know because they still have to save face with their own people but nevertheless somebody that's been following this I wouldn't have imagined because everybody was just so quiet. So Alhamdulillah the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him 1400 years ago he's passed away yet he is still through his honor mashallah galvanizing the ummah peace be upon him. And we also see the clout that our Arab brothers and sisters actually hold when it comes to you know global politics. So kudos to them. But those of you that are still here, I want to tell you a few things about the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and why we love him so much and what makes him so special. Firstly, let me tell you something, this is unique to Islam and Muslims that we have a special science that preserves the sayings of the Prophet. Yes, it is called the chain of transmission. Number two, he was such a unique individual that even the people that wanted to kill him <laughs> held him in high esteem. Case in point Abu Jahl who said I don't agree with what you're preaching mate but I can't call you a liar. And number three here's what he said about non-Muslims living with Muslims. Beware if anyone oppresses the Mu'ahid, the one with whom he has an agreement or diminishes his right or forces him to work beyond his capacity or takes from him anything without his consent. I shall plead for him on the day of judgment. This is a non-Muslim mate. And even one of the founders of democracy Montesquieu was forced to say that non-Muslims were safe under the Muslims. And I want to end with a quote from Alphonse de la Martine. I really love the way he encapsulated the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. He was a French writer in I think the early 1800s. He said, if greatness of purpose, smallness of means and astounding results are the three criteria of human genius, who would dare to compare any great man in modern history to Muhammad. He was a philosopher, he was an orator, he was an apostle, he was a legislator and the restorer of rational dogma. He was Muhammad, peace be upon him.